I was about seven or eight when I first started fishing. It was nothing complicated, just simply putting you a piece of bait on and just trying to catch a fish. It was something in me that was just gravitating towards nature and being outside. Just trying to get out and make memories. That's the biggest part. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, sir. Fishing opened that door, but hunting really allowed me to get outside and just be me. Here we go, come on, bud, load up. You was sound crazy. Kennel, good dog. <laughs> crazy is probably the nicest thing I've been called being a duck hunter, but you gotta have a little bit of crazy in you to come out here and be in the woods at two, three in the morning like this. Serious about it, you'll be up two in the morning, making coffee by three. Oh, the boy. On the water by four. Good boy. You ready to hunt? And in your blind by five o'clock. You see everything out here, man. It's wild Florida, so snakes, frogs, lizards, gators. But that's wild Florida for you. It's cool, right? <laughs> that's one of the most beautiful things you can ever experience, watching the world wake up. It's great. And once you truly experience wild Florida for yourself, you can get one with nature. It's something that you cannot replace. Odie! What keeps me motivated, what keeps me pumped, is my dog Odie. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's my prized possession. That's my boy. A, a great retriever, he's still very, very young. So his enthusiasm keeps me going. Oh, no. This is Florida. Anything less than this, you ain't really getting the full, you know what I'm saying, effects of Florida, man. Look at it. Wild Florida, man. Can't do nothing but love it.